going very, very quick. And um, subhanAllah, I hope everybody's having a great Ramadan so far. Hope you're all in the best of health and looking good, feeling good. And, and in the best of spirits, and in the best of spirits, inshallah. People on the radio, you know what to do. You, you can text us 077-488-55055. 077-488-55055 is the text number. Please do text me to say you are listening to the show and you are listening to the program. I don't have to encourage our Instagram people because I know, mashallah, Instagram is kicking. And I know Facebook is also live. And alhamdulillah, it's a, it's a pleasure and an honor we have such great support. I remember in 19, I think it was 1997 when we started Radio Ramadan. It was at the Sabra station that time. But mashallah, it's been now, oh, 27. It's been going for a long, long time now. And may continue for many, many more years. And since then, we've had so many different people running it, looking after it. And Allah Ta'ala give everybody jazakhir who's made it possible. I know there used to be a time... Um, when radio used to be in every household, every car used to go, radio was on. And on that note, I was actually thinking, what should I ask today? So here's my question today. Since 1997, since you've been listening to radio, what, has, what have you really enjoyed? Does that make sense? You know, what, what's really, has radio made a difference in your life? Since the time you were, since the time you were listening to radio from 1997, what impact has a radio had? It could be recently, it could be 20 years ago, it could be 25 years ago. For as long as you've been listening to the radio, my question is, what positive impact has the radio had? Has it changed your life in any way at all? The first message of the day, Jazakallah khair, salams maulana, hope you're well, inshallah, listening. Jazakallah khair, brilliant. Um, somebody goes, sweet Medina, of course, yeah. that Nasheed, sweet Medina, sweet Medina, sweet Medina, very lovely. As a child, used to love the radio during Ramadan, but barely listen now, to be honest. I guess that's many of us, we don't listen now. Um, I think radio was the thing, it was the new thing, it was the trend, you know, a first Muslim radio, Islamic radio, it was like everybody said, everybody used to have you. Know, I mean, I tell you, my, my own household, my car, my parents' house, families. There was only one thing, you know, Ramadan radio, Subras radio, whatever it was called at the time, it was the thing, right? We had some fantastic nasheeds, programs. Molana, are we going down memory lane again? Yes, we're going down memory lane again. You're promoting food all the time. How am I promoting food? Have I even said food? Radio Ramadan is a childhood memories, Molana, as nasheed competi compet competition, yes. Coming to the studio to pick up prizes, miss all the old classic nats and nasheeds. This is one thing. We've had so many old classic nats and nasheeds. We do miss them. Um, there was one uh, nasheed, Arabic one. Biladi, ya biladi, laki hubbi, ya fuadi. I don't think you can get it anymore. I, it, was a, it was a cassette. Jokes with, your, with you, you and my papa. Uh, always looked forward to the banter and educational into info. Also, the competition says um, Rehan. There were some great memories. Honestly, I, I, I used to do the morning program with Mr. Morty. Mr. Morty and myself, we used to do the Sehri program. And we were partners in crime that time. And uh, because it was winter time, it was, it was a great team. And I used to talk about the Hajjud, and he used to talk about the weather report. The old hosts of Radio Ramadan were the best. Now it's become too modern. Radio is like a cassette player. It's old, right? You know what it is? Um, we had Farooq Razak. May Allah Ta'ala grant him to know he passed away. There was Uncle Iqbal with the late night nasheeds. All, all his old geezers and men used to phone in and read nasheeds. It was fantastic. But that was winter time. In winter time, it was possible. Tarabi used to finish by, you know, Tarabi used to finish by 8, 9 o'clock. The classic one which when kids would ring up to pray or recite nasheed or on the phone would always be passed. My, would always be passed. My sister wants to pray. My brother wants to pray. Yes. And they would say, Salams to the whole world and the whole ummah. Yes, I remember, Ya Biladi, Ya Biladi, like a hubbi wa fuadi. That was a great one, Biladi, Ya Biladi. And uh, yeah, that was a great one. Um, and there was a um, great, great. So me and Mr. Moti used to do the Sehri program. We had a classic once. Um, he used to do, he used to do the weather, and I used to do the Hajjud. So one day, it was a really, really cold day, and Mr. Moti was doing the weather report in the morning. So he goes, all my brothers and sisters who are going for namaz in the morning, not sisters, brothers, who are going for namaz in the morning, he says, make sure all of you wrap up warm. That was a good thing. 
Um, your show, Sweet Biryani, Starburst, Sweets, Jannah and Millennium Bayans. Yes, you got it. You got it. My God. So then the best was Mr. Boti goes, make sure all of you scrap your windows. <laughs> make sure all of you scrap your windows. What he was trying to say is, make sure you scrape your window. You make sure you scrape. And he said, scrap your window. So I did have to make a correction there. It was brilliant. It was great fun. The youth chats at midnight. Yes, Molana, your favorite Nasheed. Ya Khaliq al Yes. MashaAllah. There is a 5 p.m. show every day, by the way, by Abdul Sattar. 5 p.m. every day. Don't, oh, sorry, every Friday. Every Friday, there is a special Nasheed show, by the way. How's Sheikh Ibrahim Mogra and Sheikh Ibrahim Musa there? I hope they're well. They're good, MashaAllah, Noreen. Adverts like Milky Lane, Dude Ki Gali. Yes, they used to be <laughs> classic. Dude Ki Gali. Half those commercials used to make you feel hungry afterwards. They used to feel, make you feel. There were some classic commercials. There were some classic presenters. We had Ankal Iqbal. We had Farooq Raza. Allah grant me of There was Mr. Moti. There was Sheikh Ibrahim Mogra. There was myself. There was Mulan Umar Ganji. Raja's Pizza Bar. Of course, of course. How can you forget that? Raja's Pizza Bar. They were great stuff. They were, they were, they were good nasheeds. They were old. I don't know if you guys remember, I used to play those Imran, Imran Daya nasheeds. Now, Imran Daya was from South Africa, and he used to be, a, he's a revert. And, and in, back in the days, he was a professional singer. He used, to, he, used to, he used to be a professional singer. So he used to sing a lot of his Indian songs, right? So he converted the Indian songs into Nasheed, right? And there was that time, there was a Kabi uh, Kushi Kabi Gum, the movie that was on at that time. I remember. <laughs> Sorry, guys, I do remember. Saturday. So Kabi Kushi Kabi Gum was on at the time. So one of the Nasheeds from there, I think it was, O Subah He Madina, O Sham He Madina. It was something like that. It was on a tune of Kabi Kushi Kabi Gum song. And it was just, so and, and I used to play them all, and then people used to get really angry at me. Monana, this is, reminds me of songs, but well, not my fault, because I never used to listen to songs, so I used to, I used to love them. I used to love Imran Daya. So if, it, if you go on YouTube, check on Imran Daya, and be from South Africa. So all these nashis on proper original Indian songs, proper original Indian songs, right? But, um, my mom and I said I got Loza, Loza, right? MK, can we hear a nasheed, please? I, can't, I don't know any nashis, but uh, here we go. Can we put this on for a second? If you're listening to the radio, here we go. Everybody, radio, can you hear it? It's on radio. Akil, put it on a bit longer. There you are. So it's on radio. This is Imran Daya, classic old Nasheeds back in the days. Yeah, some, sorry, guys, if you're, on, if you're on Instagram, you can't listen to it, but it's off Instagram now. I'll, um, that's kuch kuch hota hai. No, that's, that's kuch kuch nahi hota hai. Sab, sab kuch hota hai. This is, this is now called sab kuch hota hai. Right? So <laughs> I used to put these nashis and I used to get into so much trouble. Maulana Khalil, do you know these are old Indian songs? How dare you put the nashis on? Oh dear, oh dear. Bring back the nasheed request show. You know, inshallah, in three years' time, we'll be in winter time, inshallah. And after Tarabi, we will actually have the bring the nasheed request. But you see, those days you have to, you used to have the uh, CD players. It was very classic stuff. It was good stuff. Um, the problem is if we have it now, people on Instagram can't hear us. That's the problem. We'll, we'll work on it. Akil says, next year we'll do something, inshallah. I'll probably need two hours then. I'll need a nasheed hour show. Yeah, in three years' time, and when we come on, inshallah. So, um, sorry, I'm not reading some of your comments. They're coming in fast and furious. Uh, Akil, any text messages coming yet? Let's check if there's any text messages coming. Ya Rabbana, there should be, man. I'd be disappointed if there isn't. Oh, there's plenty, there's plenty. Let's see what we, let's go through them. Salams MK from Ganji family, from Highfields area. Jazakallah khair, Ganji family. Great uh, increased knowledge on the Islamic topics as well as charitable ventures and the nasheeds. Um, Assalamu alaikum, always listening to you. Look forward to your show. The singing was, was on point. Your voice suddenly sounds very soothing. All of a sudden, it's always soothing. Salams, did I miss that one? Salams, M, uh, Salams MK, the radio is a great way to keep focus during the month of Alhamdulillah. Can you please ask Abrar Jusab, the ex-student of yours, to stop sending me food videos? 
<laughs> Abral, behave yourself. My dear ex-student, the Maulana Khalil, ya Khalik al akwan The funny thing is, uh, Akil, find that, right? Many people thought that was me reading the Nasheed. Yeah, I said, no, it's not me. I know the guy sounds like me or I sound like that guy. But it's an insult to the guy. He's got a good voice, but then I'll take it. I'll take the credit for it anyway. Salams MK, hope you're well. Your Nasheed show was the best. Your Nasheed show was the best. Okay, more messages coming in. It's a good way to keep radios in the car. Otherwise, how else would we listen to your amazing show? So, Zakaria. Jazakallah, Zakaria. Lol, today your show is the best. Jazakallah khair. Allah reward you. There's loads of messages on Instagram, Akil. We do have to get through them. Um, right. Okay. Umma Fatima says, Your old talks were so helpful for the youth. Jazakallah for the guidance. May Allah reward you for your halal entertainment. Halal entertainment. I might as well call it my new show. MK Halal Entertainment. That's the new one. It's good they keep radios in the car. Otherwise, how else could we listen to your amazing shows? Um, every year I ask you to sing the nasheed and you don't do it. All right, Ahmad, I'm going to sing one this year, right? I'm going to think about which one though. Um, Salam, Molana, I missed the past two shows and I felt like my day wasn't complete. Very true. I am now, I am now fully caught up and ready to listen from work, says Aisha. Aisha, where have you been? When do you do a nasheed show? Atika, I used to do it a long, long time ago, but I haven't done it recently, but maybe one of these days... I'll dedicate one afternoon show. All right, I'll do it. Akil, fix the day. I'm going to smack five different nasheeds. Urdu, Arabic, English. All of them coming your way. I remember the writing a letter to you, Maulana Saab. A recurve a rep uh, a recurve reply also. And you replied also. Okay. Oops, dear. <laughs> Hope it was a good reply. He's become shy these days. Rafik Lorga says, Abrar commented that you should be a presenter on Radio 1 Extra. Come in your way. This is Radio 1 Extra with me, Maulana Khalil. Oh my God, the good old days. Used to love coming on the radio, praying, and also the days when the radio team used to come to our houses, says Nabila Sakrani. Yes, we used to get invited for food. Um, I remember the Islamic establishment advert, Rijal, Atfal, Anissa, so distinctive, used to get stuck in my head. Yeah, there were some ads which used to stay in your head forever, never used to go away. Okay, so this is the funny things. Now, let me ask you, but is there anything you heard on radio which changed your life? We talked about the nasheeds, we talked about, and was, is there any of you that could say, yeah, I started practicing my namaz, or I kept a beard, or I started wearing hijab, I became a better person, I, you know, my life changed. I would love to hear from you, inshallah. Oh my God, feeling emotion. All right, take it easy. Abaya, ataya. The place to buy no abaya. <laughs> I change it today. Ataya abaya. The place not to buy abaya. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Sorry, Ataya. Um, yeah, um, Raja's pizza bar. But yeah, yeah, so we've got 12 minutes. Time, you know, when we're, fun, we're having fun today, right? Not fun, but you know, a bit of lightness. Some people say, I think this, this is a good time to lighten things up in the afternoon. Salam's Maulana. Can we eat car, carmine, right? It's from Beatles. Mm, depends which Beatle it is. If you can find out which Beatle it is, I'll, I'll have to check on that for you. There was a Punjabi nag. Not sure if you remember it. Uh, there is. Right. Assalamu alaikum, Molana. Remember, we went to Albania together. Please make duas for me. It's from Sara Hassan. Sara Hassan. Hope you're well and in the best of health. He's replaced his Nasheed show with a dieting and matchmaking show instead. Lol. Salam, Molana. Sh uh, Sh Sh Sharun Abdul. Hamid used to do an amazing tafsir of the Quran. How is Mawlan Abdul Harim? Uh, I know he had an accident. Any, any, do we know how he is? Is he well now? Shaykh, okay. Um, let's not talk about abayas. You know, I went to Hajj with my cousin once, uh, at, uh, Akil. Abaya Ataya, you're being violated by MK. <laughs> it's reverse psychology. So we went to Hajj and um, there's a cousin of mine. His name is Rafiq Lorgan, by the way. Heart exchange going down the drain. Oh, abaya, it's reverse psychology. Abaya ataya. The place to buy your wonderful abaya. I've changed it again, yeah? <laughs> In it, can't believe this. Alhamdulillah, I am well. I need to come to see your cocoa because, cat because my papa not buying for me. Says Asman, Asmasan. Right, okay. So I went Hajj Akil. So I said to my cousin, would you like some abayas? He goes, yeah, I need to get some nice abayas. And I need to get some mayat abayas. I said, what's mayat abayas? I've never heard of these deadly abayas before, mayat abayas. So he says, you know, you know when you go to a mayat house, so we have special way, jambas for abayas, for mayat house. So we went to a shop in, in Saudi and said, well, 
assalamu alaikum nurid alabayat al mayyit right we need a dead mayyit abaya so my brother rafiq mashallah i think he bought his he bought his wife one decent abaya and he bought her five mayyit abayas subhanallah i can't believe it sara hope you well better and in the best of health yes we need to go albania again with your papa and mommy inshallah tabarak wa with your mommy and daddy inshallah Malana, I came from Portugal and I didn't know much Islam. I learned so much from, so much stuff from listening to your show. Jazakallah. Oh, brilliant. Jazakallah. Khair. Salam's MK. I brought so many nasheed tapes of you. Yes, I used to send nasheed tapes as well. Nasheed tapes. Nasheed tapes. There were, there was Imran Daya tapes. There was, Subhanallah, Alhamdulillah, Wa la ilaha illallah, dun 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. That was that nasheed, very famous. Subhanallah, alhamdulillah. That was a really, really nice nasheed as well. Um, Davina Katrina uh, is become a memory. Let MK make make memories. Someone offered me a attar. It was the may, most. It was the mayat attar. Masha Allah, Masha Allah. Um, yeah, it's this is this really some good memories today of me- going that memory lane. What did you guys learn? Someone offered me attar. It was the mayat attar. What's the number in to text in, please? The text in number is 077-488-55055. That nashi's in my head now. That's, the reason I'm saying that is I don't know the words. 077-488-55055. 077-488-55055, inshallah. Please do text in. We're going on memory lane today and talking about those wonderful days. But more importantly... It's not the same as before, no doubt about it, because it was a new thing. And when something's new, it's always exciting and, and, and it's, people enjoy it a lot more. But still, I'm so happy we still have it. And I'll tell you what, Leicester, I'm not being biased, Leicester has probably one of the best uh, Islamic radio stations, honestly. Sorry, can you repeat the number slowly, please? It, there it is, 077-488-55055. Also, Mr. Moti, may Allah Dada grant him... Uh, a lot of uh, reward we have radio ramadan on this car and on the echo in the house even alexa knows which station we want to listen to wow <laughs> give alexa my salams <laughs> do you remember the Raja, raja's tastiest halal pizza ever raja's tastiest halal pizza yes there was good stuff man but yeah it's 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 radio please molana talk in memon for a few minutes okay akil pe Suni one. Jiva. Bolo. Aaj ka program memory lane jai one. Uh-huh. Sikhi one, kya fayda kari one. Right? Mashallah. Memory zaman mod sweet eye. Mashallah. Right. right. That's it. There's nothing else to say now. Okay. Does Alexa remember Asma? Yes, yes. I, yes, I yes. am Memon and I didn't understand only it. Advert, ad, advert. It's not Ramadan. It's not Ramadan without ra- Ramadan radio. 100%. R- Ramadan radio makes Ramadan. It gives it, it gives it a buzz. Adaya, Abaya, Abaya Atai says, I'm dying, please, we want you to live a bit longer, don't die. When children were allowed to come to the studio to pray, wish, to pray, wish we could do that now, would love to have brought my son in. Maybe we can, when things get better, we'll have one of those evenings, days, especially come winter, we'll have a radio competition. I'll be your host, your host for today, Maulana Khalil, this is the radio competition, right? And we'll give some nice prizes out. His memory is so natural. 100% Ahmad. Even Memons can't speak memory like me. Mine is like the modern memory, right? Modern memory. We would, where would Iqbal Bay? We would, we need Iqbal Bay. Iqbal Bay used to have all these old geezers coming on at night. And they all used to sing this. It was really good. Some used to sing shairi, some poetry, some nasheeds. It was really, really good. And the, all these old geezers used to phone in. Brilliant stuff. It was brilliant, brilliant stuff. Yeah, so Mr. Moti. Um, um, his sister, uh, Shami Ben, may Allah ta'ala grant the of she's passed away now. And she used to send chicken soup for us at Sehdi time, right? Chicken soup at Sehdi time. And uh, she was a wonderful lady. And me and Mr. Moti used to have Sehdi at the studio, Akil. We used to have cream and jam. It was our bidah. It was mine and Mr. Moti's bidah. Can you please play Ya Khalik Al Akwan Nasheed, please? Amazing Nasheed. Salams Maulana, hope you're okay from Maravia family. Yes, Maravia family, I am very, very good. If we can get Khalid, you know, what we'll do, when we come back after the break, we'll have Khalid al Akwan on radio. We're going to find it. Akil's going to find it, and we're going to play it for a minute, inshallah. So after the break, and the break's in six minutes' time, we're going to play, but you're going to have to listen to the radio for that. It's called Ya Khalid al Akwan. People on the um, 
Instagram, Facebook, what you can do, you can actually go on YouTube um, during the break and type in Ya Khaliq Al Akwan, and the guy's got a smooth, smooth, beautiful, sweet voice like mine, right? King Dark is Janal, is Janal there? Janal is not here. Your shows were the best, so they're not the best anymore. Inna lillahi wa They were. Inna. Assalamu alaikum. Mullah says, Muhammad, wa alaikum salam. MK, who's asthma? Asthma is when one time I had an asthma attack, right? More messages coming in. We love your show, and I love you all as well, alhamdulillah. Pre presenters, NAD competition. Uh, yeah, that was something we used to have. All the presenters used to have a NAD competition. We all <laughs> and Mr. Moti said, he changed to sweet biryani, sweet biryani, sweet. This is Mr. Moti's nasheed, yeah. Salam's Maulana, always look forward to listening to your show every day at 3 o'clock after school. Love it from Naida's accessories. Jazakallah Naida, Allah bless you. One talk you did a year or two ago that I learned was about shisha. Made me want to stop going to shisha lounges and avoid it as much as possible. Wicked. There's no smoke without fire. Brilliant. Alhamdulillah. Yeah, I, I mean, uh, I don't know why all these guys are laughing all of a sudden. Are you sure it's not praying it? People thought you had prayed the nasheed. It's because of the biryani. Yeah. Oh, the biryani. Ah, the biryani. Yeah, Mr. Modi has him. It's a classic. Maybe I'll get him one day to actually sing it again. Your shows are the <coughs> best. Jazakallah khair. I'm not asking you to compliment my show. I'm just actually saying, what did you learn from the show? I think we've covered more or less everything. But we've got four minutes to the break. So let's have some serious, toes, uh, serious stuff. What really changed you? What made your... Uh, Astaghfirullah, Maulana, my mom's name is Asma. All right. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. I'm sure there's a lot of asthmas in town or asthmas in town. Uh, that, that was just a, a joke. Is it, Only my Insta followers know that joke. Maybe the radio ones do know. Maybe I'll mention it one day. We'll see, inshallah. We'll see, inshallah. But, you know, it's, it's, just, it's great. This memory lane, then the sheets, the bayans, the presenters. Uh, we had Maulana Abdul Rahman Sahib from Masjid Bukhari, Rahmatullah Alayhi. He used to give bayans in the morning. He was so learned. He was awesome. Um, Hafizur Rahman, Chishti Sahib, he used to come on as well. We had, we had some awesome presenters. Davina Kanani, I learned about the beauty of giving up all your giveaways. <laughs> okay. Um, Desi Tatkavitsky Magic. What a name. T uh, Akil. Desi Tatkavitsky Magic. Subhanallah, what a name. Assalamu alaikum, wa alaikum salam. Hope you're well, Daisy Tatka. <laughs> okay, brilliant. Some people have some most amazing Insta names, eh, Akil? I think we should make a joint Insta account, Akilun wa Khalilun. Uh, yeah? <laughs> as soon as the cake comes, we do that. Yeah, as soon as Cake Smiles gives us a cake, we're going to do it. Molana Mogra was really good. Molana Mogra was cool. His stories were very good. He used to do very good stories. He could do it properly once upon a time. In fact, he did once um, a commentary, a football commentary in Chechewa. Football commentary in Chechewa, right? Shout out to Jakob Kemes. Jakob Kemes, I'm shouting at you. Wish we could get oldies back. Yep. I mean, people like young like me, you need the oldies back again. Yeah, I get it. I get it. Um, I uh, as, yeah, yeah. No, not joke. I am sad now. It's supposed to be asthma. Okay, no joke. Okay, it's asthma. It's asthma. Okay, got it. Jazakallah khair for, for the correction. Two minutes to go, people. Let me know. I mean, I know I have met many people. Is there any of you who might have started wearing the hijab? Is there any of you who kept a beard? Is there any of you who started praying namaz? Is there any of you who had some positive... The radio made a positive change in your life. I want to hear that as well. Apart from the jokes, apart from the presenters, apart from the sheets, your late night shows were brilliant. We would wait all day for it. It says Gabbar. Gabbar, what's your real name, by the way? Gabbar, what's your real name? Any more text messages? We've got one more text message. Sanam's Maulana. Just wanted to ask if you were able to perform nikah. Ah, yes, I can do nikah. No worries. Anytime, any place. You let me know where you want the nikah done, inshallah, and we shall get your nikah done. Alhamdulillah. We've had a record Insta, uh, mashallah. If you listen on radio but you want to watch, you can on Molana Khalil Insta page. Molana Khalil Insta page. Um, also, Ramadan Radio Facebook page. Radio Ramadan Facebook page. Aki is giving me the daggers at the moment. We um, are on Instagram as well. Sure. And, and Instagram as well. Please follow Ramadan Radio. They get, Akil gets a bit emotional when I say that. My mom did MK. Ever since she heard your bayan from the receiver, Hidayah was from Allah, but you are means. Jazakallah. And a shout out to my mummy, Kulsum, love you loads. Oh, that's so sweet. Kulsum, 
I'm so happy that mashallah I could have made a, I made a difference in your life. Allah Taala uh, reward you. I've started wearing abaya all the time when when I got out. I've st- I've started wearing abaya all the time when I got out. Okay. She wore a scarf says abaya ataya. We are listening on Alexa. Salams to Alexa from me in the studio. Loads of love and salams to Alexa from me and Akil from the studio. People, we've got 23 seconds left before we go for a break on Radio 87.9 FM. We have been going down memory lane, going back on the days of radio. What did you learn? How you benefited? And the good old days. And Ahmad said, started praying tahajjud. All right, people, we're going to take a radio break, but we'll be on Instagram still, inshallah. See you all in a few minutes. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Okay, people, it's time for the uncivilized conversation now. Let's go uncivilized for the next five minutes and then we become.
Wasallam. Marhaban bikum. Um, people, while we were on break, we were talking about chocolates. Yes, yeah, so you know, I'll give a box. I'm t- collecting chocolates from people who want to donate to me. And I am willing to walk 20 miles, inshallah, after Ramadan. One of my missions is to do, actually do 30,000 steps. 2,000 steps equals a mile. 15,000 steps would be... Quil- will be no, 30,000 steps would be 15 miles. Oh, that is my minish. You don't look undernourished. No, no, don't send me dark chocolate. No dark chocolate. Dark chocolate, I'll donate to Akil, free of charge. Akil, do you like dark chocolate? Seriously. Man, that's, that's my it. favorite. Mine is, it's got to be, mine, man, I can't do dark. I think it's a bit too dark for me. Too dark for me. I, I like do it dark. nice. I, do I don't dark. like white chocolate as well. Ah, I don't like no, it. I'm not a fa- big fan of white. I'm not a fan of my dark. My son loves it's it. It's got to be in between like me. Milk nice. chocolate and dark chocolate mm. is good. Yeah. Why does all this food come into our show, Akil, for some reason? I, I, think, I think it's me. Uh, I think whenever you see me, for so some reason, you yeah. think about... I guess it's not my fault, really. New hobby for you. Dark is good for your health. It's all right. My health is good as it. I need something un- unhealthy now. So, Farah Roche, people... Oh, okay. 077-488-55055. Hope you're all well. Um, white is insane and sweet. Yes, that's why we don't have it, because it's insane. But it's all right. People who like white chocolate, white chocolate. Um, dairy milk. That looks nice, yeah? Right, okay. Right, Akil, how much time we got? 18 minutes. All right, so we'll talk eight minutes of... Tomorrow, folks, it's 3 o'clock to 4 o'clock. I'm going to finish what the half tomorrow, inshallah. Tomorrow's going to be a more serious show, shall we say? One day serious, one day sort of light-hearted stuff. Um, this always start when you ask the first question. Yep. It it's all depends on the do, first yeah. question, isn't so it? So don't ask the question and just start the, your show, inshallah. Milk chocolate wins for me. Oh, ma, Molana, what about turtles? Oh, yo, 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 turtles, I forgot. These Canadian turtle chocolates are absolutely awesome. Sorry, so my list has just increased. Farah Roche, whole nut, lint, and turtle chocolates. If anybody listening at home, you would like to give me a nice eat present, Maltesers, mm, I'll take any chocolate. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi Just about made it today. Says ittaqillah. Turtles are the best. What's turtles? I want to try. Turtles are these chocolates. They're Canadian chocolates. Oh, and they're made in America or uh, Canadian. Very, very nice. Small. Um, try them. Go on the internet. You can get it at a particular shop in Leicester as well. Uh, you can ask me last, later and I'll tell you where you can get it from. Inshallah wa ta'ala. They are so delicious. They are small, but they are so yum. They are so yum. Allah Ta'ala. Give you all the tawfi to send me loads of turtles and loads of goodies, inshallah. Salams Molana says, S Khalifa, wa alaikum as salam. We uh, went on about the last year. He kept going on about it. Who's he? Canada chocolate turtles, they are amazing. They are truly amazing. Asma Sida 12, not happy with her name being mocked. She said, think of Asma al Husna. Right. <laughs> calm down, calm down, calm down. Okay. Why don't we hear the al rijal at Fal Nisa anymore? Because it's every year the adverts change. Okay, next one. Molana, you are the only original presenter left. I think that's true. I am having some difficulties in my marriage, and Molana, you gave me an ayat to pray for the, from, the, from the Quran, which I now have prayed for the last 15 years. Unfortunately, through my marriage, sadly came to an end in February this year, after 28 years in Nadilla. Very sad to hear that. However, I still sometimes. On, go, on autopilot, go to pray the ayat every every first namaz and have to stop myself from praying. My sister or my brother, Allah Taala give you both. Uh, whoever is sending this message, may Allah Taala give you a good partner. I hope things work out for you in the future, inshallah, and uh, Allah Taala make it easy for you. It's always very sad when you hear marriage is breaking up. Allah Taala make it easy um, for everybody. Molana, my mom says she wants chakri from Tesco. The one you said it's yum. When did I say that? I don't remember saying Japanese yum from Tesco at all. Listen, I think it's gone too far with the food now. I can't, I can't do it. I'm, my fast is becoming makru. My mouth has become watery. I've got one Islamic relief brother sitting across the road. He's, he's going a bit crazy as well. Um, it's a bit tough to take all his food mentioning Hershey's. How about, uh, no. For Eid, inshallah, selling you chilies and lime flakes for Eid. Okay. I mean. Okay, right. People... In four minutes, can we talk about something decent for once in your life, all of you? Okay, let me, let me change the show a bit now. Now, I want all of you to listen to this on radio. This is a very, very interesting competition. 
Now, we're going to do a normal competition as we do every single day, but this is a super competition. This is for primary students only, from the age of 5 to the age of 11. Listen to me very carefully. From the age of 5 to the age of 11. Ahmad, that rules you out. Right? 5 till 11. What you have to do is design a 3D Kaaba model. Design a 3D Kaaba model and capture a 360 degree video and one image. Okay, so you're not going to bring it to the Rahma Mercy. You have to make a 3D Kaaba model from the kids from the age of 5 till, in, in, in short, primary students. In short, primary students. Not for secondary, primary. A 3D Kaaba model and you could be anywhere in the country. Okay, you just have to be just, just for Leicester, just for Leicester, right? A 3D Kaaba model, capture a 360 degree video, you have to make a video of it for one minute only and one image, okay? And then you have to send it to this number. We're going to post it on my post afterwards, inshallah. We'll put it on Ramadan radio as well, and we'll put it on my, we'll put it on um, Rahma Mercies as well, inshallah. The text, the telephone number is, please take this down, please take this down, and Akil will put it on as well. Zero double seven, zero double seven four two six zero nine two six five zero double seven four two six zero nine two six five for and I'm gonna say again you have to make a 3D Kaaba model. Don't buy it on the internet. Make it yourself. Yeah, make it yourself. Right. A capture a video, a 360 degree video and one image and you send it to this number. The winners will be announced on 10th of May. The winners will be announced on 10th. Okay, you've got until, you've got until, did, 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 where is it again? Two winners until, okay, what's the date on Monday? The 3rd of May, isn't it? You have until the 3rd of May to, this is your deadline, Monday midnight 12, 3rd of May is your deadline. 3rd of May is your deadline. And the winners will be announced on the 10th of May. Winners will be announced on the 10th of May. This is, the boy and girl will get a, a 25 pound voucher each. And this is from the Hijab World Preston. The Hijab World, the sister is very uh, kind of us, kind, very kind of her. She's going to donate 25 pounds vouchers each for a boy and a girl. And this could be a lovely Eid present for them, inshallah. So I'll say it once more. We're asking primary boys and girls to design a 3D Kaaba model, um, then send a one minute video and an image to this number, 077 Your deadline is on the 3rd of May, and the winners will be announced on the 10th of May. The winners will get a 25 pound vouchers each, and this has been kindly dedicated and donated by the Hijab World, the Hijab World from Preston. Okay, hope you got that folks. Kids, please do take part in it. We want to see loads and loads of kids taking part, inshallah. Okay. Salams, I managed to complete my hymns after your inspiration of starting a group to memorize an ayat a day. Oh, really? Wow, mashallah. I started off with the ayat initially and then went to recite an, to an upper. Wow. I'm so chuffed here. I want to read this message again. Salams, I managed to complete my hymns after your inspiration of starting a group of, to memorize an ayat a day. I started off with an ayat initially and then went to recite an ayat uh, to an appa regularly and completed in five years from Asia. Wow! I'm so chuffed to bits. That's lovely. I remember I said, learn the ayat today. You're lucky a brother Yusuf hasn't sent you a food video. Okay, so that's, that. that's the message of the day, Taqil, so far. That is the message. Asia, I'm so happy. Asia, can I ask you for a favor? who you have now become hafidha. Allah Ta'ala bless you, Allah reward you, and Allah Ta'ala make this the means of elevating your status and your parents into Jannah with those beautiful crowns on the day of Qiyamah, insha'Allah. Asya, one favor though. When you go into Jannah, don't go alone, yeah? Look around, look right, look left. I'll be waving around frantically. Please don't go into Jannah without me. The thing, don't go into Jannah. In fact, add Akil into that as well. Me and Akil, right? Me and Akil, look out for us, insha'Allah. And please don't go. I'm so happy about that. I'm so happy about that. I feel really, really touched, and I think that has made my day. That has been my favorite day, uh, my favorite moment, alhamdulillah. Right, now I want to give us another minute. Okay, how long have I got? Ten minutes still, roughly? Nine minutes. Okay, I want to give a special mention to a very young author, right? This is a, a book. It's called The Clever Companions. The Clever Companions. 
wonderful women is so that what it is is called wonderful women around the prophet wonderful women around the around the prophet and it's by safia lunat and rumaisa sidat it's by safia lunat and rumaisa sidat and illustrated by azra mu'min and it's called the clever companions it's so lovely when we have authors from our own she's a young girl mashallah i think in uh, i think late 20s or early 30s allah allah knows better but she's made it such a lovely book it's called the clever companions let me just put this up so people on on the camera can see as well inshallah ta'ala on facebook on instagram you can see inshallah i would highly encourage you can buy this as well um, it's called the clever companions and you can buy it on h o o hoop hoop h double h double o p o e publish publishing house h double o p o e publishing house dot co dot uk um, go there inshallah it's so nice it's a lovely kitab i would highly recommend that you read this for your children inshallah Assalamu alaikum Maulana. I wanted to ask if it's possible to talk about financial issues and debt help. Uh, yes, maybe we can do that, inshallah. We can do that one of these days, inshallah. So please, I, I'm, I'm really promoting this book. Um, it's very, very promising when our boys and girls become authors, when they become writers. It's a huge compliment. So Safiya Lunat and Rumaisa Sidat, a big, big congratulations to you guys. Allah give you more barakat and I hope you write more and more books, inshallah, which will benefit our Muslim community and beyond. Which will benefit our Muslim community and beyond. Big, big congrats from me. And I know your father as well, Yunus Bay. Big congratulations. He should be a very proud father that his daughter has managed to write a super duper Absolutely fantastic book. It's very good. It's very good. It's very attractive in Shalat um, Abadukatala. You can go to Islamic Establishment and pick up. If you mention my name, you might just get a wee bit of discount. You might get a wee bit of discount. No promises. Depends what mood Yunus is in that day. Okay, people. Right. Competition time. Doo -doo -doo -doo. This is the most exciting time of the day. There we are. Okay. Yesterday's competition questions were these How much does it cost approximately? To build a house in Albania. How much does it cost to build a house in Albania approximately? And the answer to that was 20,000 pounds or 20,000 euros, okay? And the second question was, name the salah which is known as Salatul Wusta. And the answer to that is Salatul Asr. Salatul Asr is called Salatul Wusta. Now, Akil's got the camera proper on me now. Right, now the first winner is going to win a one liter bottle of mocktail. One liter bottle of mocktail. So Akil, I love mocktails. Just imagine if I pull my name out, Khalil Patel. Fix, and Just imagine if my name's on all of them. <laughs> right, Bismillah. I'm gonna go for this one. Right, here we go. The winner is. If your name is in all of them, there will be coincidence. Look at this one. It's called Asma Maravia. First winner, Asma Maravia, congratulations. You have won yourself a one liter bottle and which is kindly donated by Mocktail Girl. Mocktail Girl, uh, one liter bottle. So congrats for one super duper lit bottle of mocktail. The next one, somebody who's going to get the teeth cleaned, 80 pound. This is an 80 pound gift. An 80 pound teeth going to be whitened, not, not whitened, cleaned and looked after a hygiene. Who's going to be that? Mehendi, <laughs> Mehendi, Mehendi dot by dash yaz, M E H E N D I uh, underscore by dash um, yaz. So, mashallah, yaz, you have won yourself an 80 pound medical treatment, teeth being cleaned, and so I'm very happy for you. The third one is Omar. Lamington cakes. I love Lamington cakes. If there's anybody out there who'd like to give me Lamington cakes, feel free. Anyway. This is all ladies who need to say Najma N4JMA underscore I. Najma, you have won Lamington Cates from Urban Treats. Urban Treats, Jazakallah Khair, you're giving them that. Number four, NC French Breakfast Fruit Platter. Asia X, all women today. Double A S I Y A H X underscore Asia. Congratulations, you have won. Now, this NC French, it's a fruit platter, 30 pounds worth fruit platter. You have to collect it from Rahma Mercy today. You have to collect it from Rahma Mercy today. Number six is, number five, sorry, Portuguese grilled ester, a gazebo chicken meal. Gazebo chicken meal. Oh my God, it's a friend of mine. 
I underscore Mehta, Imtiaz Mehta, I underscore, Molana Imtiaz Mehta, this is a proper fix. <laughs> and the last one, Milkshake, is Amara Nisa, Amara Nisa. So congratulations to all six of you, you have won some amazing prizes. Allah reward all the people who've given these um, wonderful prizes. I've got four minutes to go and I've got to still read out tomorrow's competition. Still got to read out tomorrow's competition, man. Kasme bro. Right. Are we ready? Right. For tomorrow is, what is the, these are the questions. What was the, when was Masjid Hafiz Muhammad Patel opened in Albania? Rahma Mercy built a masjid in Albania called Masjid Hafiz Patel. In which year did Rahma Mercy build that masjid? Go onto the Rahma Mercy website and you'll get your answers, inshallah. The second question What are the names of the two Khulafai Rashidin whose daughters married, to, whose daughters married the Prophet? Which two Khalifa Rashidin whose daughters married the Prophet? There is two leaders of the Muslims, two Khulafai Rashidin, right? Um, who married the Prophet ﷺ. Please give your answers. Um, you need, the terms and conditions are you have to follow Rahma Mercy, you have to follow me, and also try to follow the people who are giving her their prizes. Now, tomorrow is Super Duper California. Listen to this. Tomorrow's first prize is from the Baker Table. The Baker, the Baker's Table. You're getting pistachio lime cake with lime cream frosting. But you're going to get it on the weekend. Oh, okay, this is customer. This is too good. The second prize is from Baked Bites, B-A-K-E-D, Baked, not Baked Bites, but Baked Bites. Four chocolate super cakes, nice red velvet cookie, and nice biscoff filled cookies. Ya Rabbana. This is going to be on Saturday as well. These two prizes are going to be collected on Saturday. The third prize is from the Portuguese Nuso Pozinho. Nosso Pãozinho. Nosso Pãozinho. Nosso Pãozinho, six custard tarts. Jazakallah khair. Number four, um, Portuguese voucher from Portuguese grill. Half a Portuguese chicken meal. Half a Portuguese chicken meal. Number fifth prize, milk, milkshake man. Milkshake man. Sixth prize. Oh, sorry. The fifth prize is milk cake co. Milk cake co. Co, milk cake co voucher and six prize milkshake and number seven brew seven prizes tomorrow seven prizes tomorrow inshallah jazakallah to everybody the questions are again Hafiz, which year did masjid Hafiz patel open in albania which year right did masjid Hafiz open in albania and which two caliphs of islam their daughters married prophet which two caliphs of islam Married the daughter, uh, which two caliphs of Islam, their daughters married Prophet وسلم, and Masjid Hafiz Patel, which year did it open in Albania? Okay, right. You've got to answer these questions on the Rahma Mercy Instagram page. On the Rahma Mercy Instagram page, I wish you all the very, very best, inshallah. I hope by the end Ramadan finishes, all of you will be a winner. All of you will be a winner, inshallah. A big jazakallah khair to the radio. Um, and Instagram and Facebook, a big person, a to Asia who has absolutely made my day. We started off a little mission. Remember, uh, memorize the ayat. Uh, no, which two Khalifas uh, and their daughters married the Prophet? Their daughters married the Prophet. Okay, now lastly, a big, yeah, Asia, I'm so proud of you, mashallah, uh, that you become half of that in five years. You started with one ayat a day. I am so brilliant. Molana, can one of the shows be, be about encouraging people to go to on a spiritual doctor? I will do that, inshallah, probably tomorrow. People, 87.9 FM, it's been a super show. Um, don't forget the, 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 the show for the, the, the competition for the little kids, for the primary students. It could be nationwide, a generous donation from the hijab world. I hope you will all take part, inshallah, wa um, ta'ala. I'll be back tomorrow from 3 to 4, inshallah. Uh, today's Thursday night, Jummah night. Lots of durud upon Nabi, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. I'll be back tomorrow with a real bang, inshallah. Another exciting, eventful, delightful, wonderful show tomorrow, inshallah. Tabarak wa ta'ala. Have a wonderful Thursday. Um, I'm not sure who's coming next, but whoever's coming next, inshallah. Um, which two Khalifa's daughters? No, they are two separate Khalifa's. And do those two separate Khalifa's, their daughters married Prophet sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam. From me, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa